Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Reichland under the command of Balthazar Gelt, going up against just a Norsecan tribe. Uh, our army's okay, but we've been caught in Force March, so that's not particularly good. The biggest problem I have with this army is the Halberdiers. Now, I'm not saying that Halberdiers are necessarily a bad unit, but in this particular case here, I can kind of foresee that they are really going to let us down in a situation where we really don't want anybody letting us down. The big problem here is that mammoths are just so terrifying that they are going to break our halberdiers immediately. The halberdiers don't stand a chance against mammoths, even just feral ones, not even uh, talking about war mammoths. So their holding power is going to be very low. And in addition to the fact they're going to be exhausted, they're probably going to rout almost immediately in a situation where we need somebody to hold the line. These gunners here, even if they are tired, they can dish out the damage, but they need time to shoot. And uh, it's going to be really hard to sort of contain all of these marauders that will also be attacking the halberdiers. So my prediction is that the halberdiers are definitely going to let us down, and there's not much we can do to prevent that from occurring. So we kind of need to inflict damage as fast as possible, because once they've gotten through our halberdiers, we don't have any other line left to defend and they're going to start ripping through our gunners once they do that if we haven't dished out enough damage it's it's done for now the guy in the email said that on top of what i just explained uh this wizard here drops burning heads down on the handgunners so we need to prevent that from happening and so what i suspect is having this guy here who's fast chase after him and maybe get fireballs casted at him uh, might prevent that from occurring, but I can only really do that up until they start reaching our front line because I can't micro him and our main forces, and we have to prioritize our main forces, so we'll see how we go with that. Anyway, let's do this. The Hellstorm rocket batteries, they'll be fine up until the, the enemy get close to us, at which point we have to stop shooting because if we shoot our own infantry, they're going to hold even less time, even, even shorter. So we've got to be very careful. Hillstorm rocket batteries are great, except at close range. You very good. You've got to be really, really careful with that. Okay, find a good spot to shoot. Lots of trees everywhere, which is bad. Good for good for them. Now, even though the balance of power doesn't seem that bad, uh, it's really the situation itself. Empire is not very well equipped at dealing with Norsko. I think, uh, from a battle point of view. And the only reason why playing as Norska, it's so difficult to get rid of uh, Reichland, is not because you can't win battles, it's because you can't kill off all their armies fast enough. That's all. Uh, if we can move a bit further. I don't want to move behind the trees, it'll block our shots. Which is obviously not good. <sighs> Hellstorm rocket battery sitting in the tree. M-I-S-S-I-N-G. No, thank you. Okay, so our guys over here. You're going to go up straight away. You guys will hang back because they're not fast enough to do anything. Um, mm. This guy's not going to be able to do much against the Mammoth. Nobody can really do much about the Mammoths. Um, probably one of the strongest units in the game. Checkerboard formation I don't think really works with handgunners, but I might try a little bit of a variation. Now, yeah, just got to be really careful with the Hellstorm rocket batteries, because they're not on higher ground, not by a, a lot. Um, once the enemy infantry reach here, if we blow up this entire area, these guys are not going to hold. And the problem in that situation is... Basically, what you want to do is thin them out at long range with the Hellstorm rocket batteries. Once they get here, let the gunners finish the job. Problem is, the gunners are going to have to be focusing on the mammoths. What do you fear? That's the big problem. And the terrain is just not ideal for us at all. And everything's going to happen so fast. That's, that's the real thing. Like, if you can slow down the pace of the battle, that gives you an advantage. Um, which is what I usually try to do in these sort of situations. But I don't think we're going to get that option here. Because that way you can make wise de decisions. Make... Okay, hang on. I gotta, I gotta concentrate on this now. Alright. 
Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Wasn't quite in range yet. If we can aim for the Marauder Champions, that would be ideal. We need to make sure we target something, otherwise they might target their, um... They're like single entities. That's like the worst thing that could happen. We don't want that. Okay, so we just need to delay these units over here as much as possible. Okay, the, I think the Marauder Champions are over on this side. Those are the ones that need to go the most. So, I'm just trying to delay them here as much as possible. Especially the infantry. If the monsters can arrive early, great. So we're just feigning charges so that they turn around. And try to deal with this. Without any real intention of uh, engaging them. We just want them to... Stand here as long as possible, so that our Hellstorm rocket batteries can just keep on shooting. Even if it's only delaying them by like 10 seconds. Like, that's like an entire volley. That's it. We want, we want them to focus on a mammoth first, not the infantry. Okay, start focusing over there. Okay, you guys need to focus. Oh my god, look how much damage they've already done to the fucking mammoth there. Uh, to the to the warrior priest. Just delay them as long as you possible to do so there. Keep their infantry delayed. God, he did not last long at all. Alright, how'd that fire spell go? It didn't do great. Um... Alright, one Mammoth down. Uh, go for this one next. But yeah, you can see that these Mammoths do... They just rip us straight. Where'd he go? Is he fucking shattered or dead? God, he did not last long. Is he in there? Alright, maybe try to kill this General here. Well, if your Warrior Priest died, sorry. <laughs> but he, he didn't do a very good job. Alright, that one's shattered. Good enough. Go for the giant now, just because it's easier to get to. This mammoth is kind of tied down. Our, our guys are actually holding a little bit better than I thought they would. Alright, giant is down. Kill the enemy general now. You turn around and shoot this. I don't usually use that spell, but <laughs> fuck, what else can we do? Alright, um. I think that's the Amulus's there. Now, the real MVP of this battle is this guy here. It might not seem like it because he didn't get that many kills, but he won us this battle. Make no mistake, without him, we would have lost. I hope your warrior priest got away. Oh, I think he did. He did. Lucky us. He did. He didn't die. He just shattered. All right, that's fine. Because they they actually become really good later on. Uh, I, I suspect he's quite low level. Um, yeah, I don't want this mammoth to get away, but I don't think we're going to be able to catch it when we're on force march. But yeah. So to summarize how this went well, okay. By sending a dude up that way and just feigning a charge, what we did was slow down their advance, even by a few seconds, which gave the Hillstorm rocket batteries more time to dish out damage. See, they only used up half of their ammo, right? And it also what it did is because we didn't do that to the, to the uh, monsters, the monsters were the first ones to arrive, which meant that the gunners could focus fire on them without having to worry about the melee infantry and dish out even more damage that way. And then, at the very end of it, we were able to utilize the, our uh, captain there to bog down a, just a couple more units so they never made it to the front line. These guys here, like, they didn't get any kills, but they didn't 
they lasted long enough to get the army loss penalty, and that's the thing here. If we were to summarize this quickly, it'd come down to this. Dish out as much damage as fast as you can in this situation here. Do not fuck around, okay? Think about it and just dishing out damage, 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 everything about that. Don't worry about, oh, I don't know if this is going to hold or whatever. I don't know if this guy's going to live. Just dish out the goddamn damage as fast as possible. Let nothing be obscured and blob him up as much as possible. So, I hey, he ended up doing lots of damage, so how about that? Anyway, um, how's he going over there? Ah, oh, he's not going to catch it. All right. So yeah, everyone walks out of that alive at least. Well, yeah, apart from a few um, halberdiers dead. But they, they held their ground. So I'm pretty happy with how that went. The Hellstorm rocket batteries were a big key. To, it was basically the Hellstorm rocket batteries and this guy. This guy, if I if I didn't do that, we would have we would have outright lost. Those extra 10 seconds made such a big difference. Because like, most of their troops never made it to the front line. Yeah, I'll give you the money. Would have been nice if we had killed all the mammoths, but at least you're alive. Alright, let's have a look at the situation here and see what we can do. This looks like a rebellion. Is it possible to win this one? I don't think so, because they've got uh, goblin rock lobbers. So there's nothing we can do about that. I don't think I don't think it's possible to win it. You probably should have uh, raised Fest to Spike rather than Occupy it. I've made that mistake as well, but yeah. Now, did the Greenskins actually return? What's this? Yeah, you got plenty of, um, plenty of that. Loads of authority. Turn 83? I'm pretty impressed. This is a legendary difficulty. I'm pretty impressed. This is, this is seemingly, you've done really well. Just through loads of political events. Yeah, that's all gone pretty well. Apart from, you know, what happened here. Um, no. Do not waste my potential. Did, uh, I don't think we did actually take attrition here, because this guy had way less health than that. Just having a look at the situation. Of course, it seems like it's starting to fall apart a little bit now. It's just a basic chaos invasion. Um, could you make your way to Kislev? Now, he told me in his email that he had a second army right behind here, which I'm assuming was under the control of Gotrick, and I got ambushed by Skaven, so I'm assuming you're at war with Clan Mulder. Uh, yeah. Look, without any intel in this area, while it would be good to kill these guys, I'd probably recommend, um, force marching back to Beckhafen or Castle von Rauken. Uh, meet up with this army here and... And, uh, and head back. Um, probably don't want to push too far into this right now. But we got through that. All of these guys lived. Yeah, he was only level 6. So it wouldn't have mattered that much if he died. What's his trait? Okay, it, you know, it's... Disciplined is good. So that certainly helps. What's this one's trait? Strong. Cool. Um, but yeah. Probably want to get him Quicksilver as, as soon as possible. Because that would have that would have been really helpful. If we could have gone out there and casting spells. I could not have justified walking those guys over there. They would have gotten killed. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, leave us a sub. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you.